on pro tips, I'm going to show you another thing that I get a lot of questions about. How to take care of the finish, how do I clean it, how do I polish it? Now, the best thing to do every time you play your guitar, whenever you're done with it, is to take a soft cloth, like these yellow cloths that we have in the 1833 shop here, and just wipe the guitar down. You just go over it lightly. You can also use a soft t-shirt or something like that, but you know, anywhere that basically your arm, your hands, any of your skin oils touch, basically wipe it down. You can go over to you know, the tuning machines and everything. Just make sure that everything's clean. Some people like to go ahead and just spray polish on or get some kind of polish on and rub it right in. Our finish is very porous. So if you would rub in some kind of polish with all that chemical stuff on there, you're actually just gonna rub that stuff into the finish and ingrain it into the finish and you could actually do more harm than good. You know, this is a simple, quick way just to clean everything up, get all the, get all the chemicals and stuff off again, and make it shiny. Now, after you wipe everything down with a cloth, if you decide that you wanna shine the guitar up even more, then you can go ahead and use one of our polishes that we have here. We, this is available in the 1833 shop. This is also available online. It is designed to be used very sparingly. All you have to do is take it and spritz it over the top like this. You don't need a lot. And then take the soft cloth and go over, and it cleans up pretty quickly. It just dries itself, so you just go over and make sure you get all the excess stuff off. Turn the rag over to a dry side, just like you would if you're polishing your car or anything else. There's no abrasives in it, so you don't have to worry about it scratching. And that's why I always say to wipe it down with a soft cloth or a damp cloth first to get all that stuff off of there, all the dirt and dust and grime and everything before you go after it with that, because you may end up scratching the guitar. Also remember to only use that polish on gloss instruments. Anything with a full gloss finish, like this GP CPA1, or something with a gloss top. Uh, none of our satin guitars, anything with a satin finish, do not use this or any other kind of polish on them. Included in this, another question that I get, is how to condition the fingerboard. How do you clean the fingerboard? Well. After playing a lot, you know, you have a lot of stuff on your hands, and before I even go any further, one thing I definitely want to mention is before you play your guitar, please wash your hands. You don't want to have your lunch all over your hands when you go up and pick up one of these instruments, because you're only going to make a mess of, of the guitar. So please wash your hands. But even still, after that, there's still natural oils and everything in your hands. So sometimes when you're playing, you know, there can be some buildup on the fingerboard. Again, you could take a soft cloth, preferably not the same one that you use on the body and everything, but you could take a soft cloth and just wipe off the fingerboard. You can also take a minimally abrasive steel wool such as this and go over the fingerboard. And this will also help to shine up the frets and clean all of the excess stuff off, you know, all, all excess oils and everything off of the fingerboard. As far as conditioning the fingerboard, um, and this goes for the bridge as well, because there's no finish on those. They're still basically raw wood with a little bit of stain on them. Um, it's not something you have to do a lot. I would say maybe once or twice a year, you know, depending again on the humidity control and everything else that you have. But uh, it's a good idea to make sure that those woods are a little bit moist because you don't want to have them crack. So a couple of products that you can use, three-in-one oil. This stuff you can use on everything. You can put it on your lawnmower, you can lubricate your sewing machine with it, you can lubricate your tuning machines with it, and you can also use it on the fingerboard to condition the fingerboard. Um, if you don't want to use 3-in-1 oil, another great product is Dr. Duck's Axe Wax. Uh, this stuff's great because you can get it on the fingerboard. If you get it on the finish, it actually makes the finish look prettier. It's completely safe on the finish. Uh, to demonstrate, with this stuff, uh, you just take a little bit, and you squirt it on the fingerboard, such like that. And then you can take a rag, you know, you can obviously see that I've used this one a few times. An oily rag, and you're just gonna go in there and just clean that up and kind of massage it into the woods. Make sure that you catch everywhere. You know, you can get in there and rub pretty hard. And you can see already that it's shining up the fingerboard, making the fingerboard kind of come back to life. And if you want to, you can also take in another rag and uh, just clean up the excess that's in there. And then you're done. Mm -hmm.